So if I'm in a situation where maybe I'm about to miss my prayer and I can't make wudu, I'm not near anywhere to do wudu, I'm not near any soil, I'm not, I don't have any water, or maybe I'm locked in a bathroom and I can't get out and you know we're not allowed to pray in the bathroom. Is it permissible to pray in those like extreme circumstances where there really is no other option for you to have wudu or for you to get out of that bathroom? Is it then permissible for you to pray? Uh, the conditions for the validity of prayer, which are uh, that the time of prayer enters um, and that uh, one uh, has wudu mm -hmm. and one faces the qibla and one covers the awrah and uh, one's body is clean from any uh, legal impurities, any filth, and, and that the place is clean. Uh, the majority of these, so with the exception of, with the, exception of the time mm -hmm. of salah, um, they are the, they are compulsory, mm -hmm. or they are the conditions really. They're, 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 you know, um, for the salah to be valid, uh, with uh, with a dhikr wal qudra, dhikr wal qudra meaning that you remember and that you're able to uh, you're able to achieve these conditions and mm -hmm. to meet the conditions. So if you're not able yeah. to meet those conditions, does are you are you still are you still commanded to pray? Mm -hmm. You're still commanded to pray, uh, according to according to certain jurists, um, in the state that you're in. Mm -hmm. So, if, for example, you're up a tree and you can't stand yeah. because there is a there's a dog or a wild animal beneath you, so you cannot stand nor can you face the qibla, for example, to pray. You pray how you are. If that circumstance, then uh, then. Uh, if you if that circumstance and that condition that you're in then ends mm. and then you're able to pray whilst meeting all of the conditions of salah mm. and there's still time mm. for that salah that you prayed without the proper conditions then one should repeat it but if the time has if the time for the salah has ended mm. and the time for the next salah has come in then they don't need to repeat it so as you said locked in a bathroom no way to do wudu, no way to find the qibla for example no way to uh, no way to cover yourself mm. uh, either. All of these scenarios, by the way, the jurists have uh, have uh, mentioned as examples and given answers to. Uh, so you you perform the salah, mm. and if um, if uh, if those if those uh, those circumstances then um, then are removed, then you pray yep. the salah if there's still time for it.